Master pages can be created directly in Visual Web Developer Express or Visual Studio by simply adding a new item of type master page into your project. So before I demonstrate doing that, let's take a look at what's in a master page. So you'll notice that I have a very simple master page here that would define the overall layout of a particular web application. In this case, it's called MySite.Master. In this page, you can see that I have a percent at directive called Master. And we talked about directives earlier, such as the page directive, register directive with user controls, and now we're seeing the master directive. The master directive simply marks this particular page as being a master page, of course. Now, we can put all of the different content that we want in our master page, and anything you put in here will simply get output. So in this case, I have my body tag, my HTML tag. I can have uh, a head in here if I'd like with some JavaScript files, some CSS that I want on every page. And then the key thing that you need to put, though, is at least one content placeholder server control. So in this example, I have one with an ID of PH1. And what this does is it says where the content from the different pages go once those pages are rendered and merged in with this master page. So what will happen is a content page will define a content area that will match up with the ID PH1 of this content placeholder and then at runtime it will automatically get put in in this area right below the image that you see here. So that's kind of the fundamental. So the big thing to grasp at this point is that master pages have the HTML and the body and even the head tags in them. You won't put those types of tags into your content pages because, of course, we only want to define it once. So let me show a demonstration of creating a master page and adding it into an existing web application. Adding a master page into your project is as simple as right-clicking on the project, going to Add New Item, and selecting Master Page. Now for this example, I'm going to call it Default.Master. And you'll see that Visual Web Developer Express automatically adds in that master page and really starts us off with everything we need to get started here. So you'll notice at the top we have the master directive and then it's added the standard HTML tags that you would see in a full HTML page because this does represent the overall template, the overall page layout that all of our different pages in our site are going to use. So we have our HTML tag, we have our head, and we have our body. So I'm going to come in and just change the title to Time Tracker. I'm going to go ahead and shorten up two server controls that it added, which are content placeholder controls, just to make it a little easier to see everything. And let's talk about those. So the first one, the head, this is going to be an area where content pages can dynamically inject in CSS files, JavaScript files, or anything that you want to go up in the head section. So it's optional. You don't have to use it. But it's very useful when a page might have a particular JavaScript uh, file that that page needs. But it doesn't want to, you don't want to load it up into the master page itself because, you know, the script's only used on this one page. So by using a content placeholder and putting it up in the head area, the page can actually supply that custom JavaScript file and have it go in the appropriate spot you'd like it once it renders to the browser. Now this one here is definitely one we'll be using a lot though. This is our main content area. I'm going to rename this content placeholder main. And content placeholder main is where pages, as they have their content and that gets merged into this template, that's where the content will go at runtime. So we're basically marking a placeholder for this is where the content should go that I want to use in the uh, content page. Okay, now from here, it's up to you on what you want to add. So I'm just going to real quick add in some divs. I'm going to do some inline styles and a couple floats. So we're going to float left on this one. I'm going to give it a width of 50%. And we'll do a little bit with fonts here. So we'll do first a text align left. We'll do a font size of, say, 16 points. And finally, font weight of bold. And in this first div, what I'm going to put is just the title of this website that would appear on every page. So this is our header area. And we'll just call it Time Tracker. Below that, I'm going to do a very similar thing, except for we'll float it right. I'm going to account for any padding we might need. So I'm going to do about 47%, float the text right, and that'll do it for that guy. 
And then in here, what I'm going to put is an ASP server control, a label. And this will be used to write out the current date if we'd like. So I want to demonstrate that we do have code behind files. You'll see that over here that can be used to dynamically influence what the master page is actually outputting to the browser. All right, I'd also like to come down under the form and let's just put kind of a fake uh, footer here. So this would be our footer. And then let me just make a quick comment up here. This would be our header. And then we have our form, which will hold our main content here in the middle. Now, of course, we could add a menu and we could do a lot of other stuff to this. But for this simple demo, we'll just do this. So I'm going to come in and do copy copyright. And let's check out design view. And looks pretty good. I'm going to add a BR tag, I think, right below our header. But we have our header, we have our footer, and we have the area where the content's going to go. So let me go ahead and add a BR right here. Go back to design, and that looks pretty good. Looks good to get us started. Now, if I wanted to add images up into here, anything I want to put in the master that would be consistent across all the pages, this is the place to do it. Now, the final thing I'm going to do is we're going to right click and go to view code. And I want to update that label with the current date. So I'm going to say date label.txt is date time dot now, and we'll do too short date string just to demonstrate that you can manipulate controls inside of a master page, much like you would do inside of a normal ASP.NET web form page. Okay, and that's it. So whatever time you want to put into your master, whatever graphics, whatever headers and footers and menus you put in, these will all be used now across all pages in your site as long as they reference this master page. And that's what we'll be doing in the next section. Now, to test this, we really can't quite yet at this point. I can certainly go to Design View, as you saw me do earlier, but I can't right-click in View in Browser. But you'll notice I can add a content page, and that's what we're going to do in the next section. So let's go ahead and now talk about how do we use this master and reference it from a content page.